the U.S. dub of Armada is plagued with errors. Most explicit is the repeated misnaming of characters, particularly the minicons. More subtle clues point to scripts that were transliterated and never given a proper rewrite to adapt them for a Western, or any English, audience. The show also features wildly varying animation quality, which is due in large part to an extremely rushed production schedule. Voicebox often receives unfinished animation to work with, and rarely has time to get more than a first draft translation of the script together in time for English recording. The cause of this rush job is still under speculation, but there appear to be two primary suspects. Initial plans call for Dreamwave to supply character models for the series, at least, that was the claim, but that never materialized, possibly throwing off production schedules. Cartoon Network, the channel that airs the show, reportedly would not sign off on the series without a certain number of episodes already finished, forcing a rush job to get the cartoon out to coincide with the toy line's release. Even accounting for the rush dub, Armada's scripting tends to be of poor, indecent quality. Characters give long, rambling, semi-coherent monologues, react strangely to one another's dialogue, have very disjointed conversations, reiterate obvious plot points to one another, and repeatedly use stock phrases such as, hey, wait up. Moments of intended silence are filled with babble, especially the dreaded, uh, every time a character reacts to anything. The show also takes flack for the repetitive nature of its first half, in which the same small groups of Autobots and Decepticons hunt for mini-cons in one episode after the previous. The rising threat of Unicron, as well as the gradually expanding cast, eventually leads to more wide-ranging stories. Some people also gave Armada criticism for resembling Pokemon in that the story revolves around characters capturing other characters to make them stronger, 